soon we find ourselves back here discussing another questionable Etsy-related conundrum. Yeah, thanks, Etsy. Rafi's Rambles. Rafi's Rambles. Rafi. Hello, all you awesome humans and creatives out there. I'd like to start this video by saying, what the crap, Etsy? It's like you want to break up but you want me to be the one doing the breaking up so you just keep doing things to push my buttons and make me want to break up. That's bad relationship 101 right there. I know, it's like Etsy, you keep pushing me. You keep pushing me. I want this to work, <laughs> but you keep pushing me, It's man. like you don't want this to work, but you won't just <laughs> call it a day. So a bunch of you guys have emailed and written in to us asking about the new Etsy ads and Etsy off-site ads thing. What do we think? Have we seen it? What are we going to do? Do we know anything about it? And in of itself, I'm not as riled up about this as I was with the whole free shipping thing. But this coming on the heels of that, I'm kind of like... I think one of the reasons that we're not so riled up, though, is because we kind of did our own thing separate from Etsy. Yeah. So that's why I'm like, well, you know, like, it's, it's not like I wasn't expecting something from you, Etsy. We're still in this relationship, but our weekender bag has been packed. <laughs> <laughs> Etsy is again being kind of scripted and generic about how they're presenting this new campaign. So we had to do a little bit of digging to really find out more about it. And here's what we've got so far, guys. Etsy's in-house ads, I'm calling them in-house ads, the ads that are on Etsy that are only on Etsy are not changing except that they're removing Google from their in-house ads and Google is becoming part of Etsy's new off-site ads campaign. Etsy off-site ads, as far as they're explaining it right now, is risk-free advertising <laughs> <laughs> on sites like Google and Bing and social media platforms like Facebook, Pinterest, and Instagram. And what they mean by risk-free advertising is that you're not paying any upfront ad costs and you're not even paying for upfront clicks, uh, basically, which, you know, that's cool. You're only paying for the ad if someone clicks on it and then makes a purchase from your shop within 30 days of clicking on said ad. That sounds so good on paper. It does sound nice on paper, doesn't mm -hmm. it? It sounds like, oh, that's really kind of you to do all those upfront things. Etsy also said that this is something that was created specifically for Etsy users to help them out. And uh, you can't find anything like it anywhere else. So uh, it's very special in that way. <laughs> <laughs> they said that they're going to be adding a dashboard pretty soon that's going to allow you to see um, the ads that are being run and who's clicked on them and whether or not those ads resulted in a purchase. You'll be able to track all that and see the fees as they're coming out uh, in real time. Uh, said dashboard is not available yet. Yeah, so. that's kind of that's weird that they're doing this whole announcement and launching uh, everything and saying, like, this is what's going to happen, but yet there's no real way for you to check yeah, things. Yeah, and they, right. And they basically said they're doing this pre-announcement to um, help us feel prepared and to uh, be helpful. We'll get, <laughs> we'll get into that in here just in a second. So the ad fee that you will pay if you make a sale via offsite ads is either 15% if you opt in or 12% if you are required to opt in. <laughs> Let's do a little skrrr. So one thing that they wanted to clarify is that the ad fee is only paid on items that sold as a result of Etsy offsite ads. So you're not paying that 12 to 15% on anything you sold via Etsy's in-house advertising or any organic sales you make through Etsy or any other channels. Basically that transact that that ad fee is only applicable if it was a result of off-site ads. Because uh, a lot of people were pretty riled up thinking that they were going to have to pay out 12 to 15% of their sales across the board. And that's not the case. So that's good. However, if a buyer clicks on any of your off-site ads and makes a purchase from your shop within 30 days, any purchase at all from your shop, whether it was what they clicked on or not, Etsy is going to count that 
is a sale that resulted from off-site ads because they made that initial click on your ad. That's where things could get a little tricky, I feel like. If a buyer clicks on one of your off-site ads and then 25 days later they return to your shop and buy something, it counts as generated from off-site ads. Ooh. It, it could get tricky. That's no bueno. They say they're releasing dashboards and things to help clarify that, but um, I think that's that could get that could get a little problematic. We'll yeah. see. We'll see. Well, that could get problematic because basically, you know, that's fine if you sell like a ten dollar item. Uh huh. But what if you sell a thousand dollar item? Then your fee is gonna be. Yeah. So for hefty. that one click. It's a big fee. It's a giant fee. Yeah. If someone accidentally clicks on one of your off-site ads instead of one of your regular, well, like let's let's say it's a customer that knows your shop already, but they accidentally click on one of your ads and then they buy something from you. Um, technically, they were your customer already, but they clicked on the ad. Yeah. So, yeah. So. I'm not sure how I feel about that whole business of the 30 days. I don't know how I feel about this whole business anyway, <laughs> Etsy. I feel like Etsy's being all like, huh, I'm Etsy. It does feel a little like, huh. They also do mean 12 to 15 percent on the total amount of the sale, not just the item price. So they mean the item price plus any applicable sales taxes or upfront custom fees, plus your shipping cost equals shady. <laughs> I don't understand how they can legally collect their commission on like your sales tax, which is never yours to begin with, and your shipping fees. And that's always been a thing since they've started collecting fees on shipping and taxes and all that. Like, that's never seemed right or okay to me. Um, so this is just a continuation of that shadiness that's already been going on. Well, that was kind of like with the free shipping and a lot of people were like, oh, dude, you just gotta grow some. What they don't realize is that Etsy has been implementing different things like that, like charging commission or charging a percentage on the shipping and then charging a percentage on the taxes and the overall sales and they've made these tweaks and changes to their policy little by little mm -hmm. and now they're doing this so it's like who are you etsy i know we started off as one thing and now we don't know what we are i don't even know you anymore man <laughs> okay so required to participate not sure not sure if you're automatically gonna have to do this yeah me either. <laughs> How about you? Uh, I don't know. Etsy has been repeatedly using the following generic script when describing the whole required to opt in thing. And I'm going to just go ahead and read it to you so there's no mistaking this part. For most sellers, offsite ads is optional but it's a great opportunity to grow your business. So all sellers will be automatically enrolled. So whether you knew about this or not, and whether you're required to participate or not, you will be automatically opted in. So whenever they roll this out, if you don't want to be a part of it, you're going to have to go into the dashboard and opt out. If you've made more than 10,000 US dollars in a 12 month period on Etsy, you'll benefit most from offsite ads. So you'll be required to participate for the lifetime of your shop and you'll get a discounted ad fee. This makes no sense to me at all. Nope. Okay, who really benefits most from this Etsy? Because if I've made over $10,000 in a 12 month period, I'd say I'm doing pretty okay without your forced help. So is it really me the seller that benefits or is it Etsy that benefits most from forcing its highest volume sellers to participate in something that they may not want to? They're gonna have to collect that percentage. It's not like Etsy wants to collect that extra additional money from their highest sellers. Right, it's just they have to because, you know, that's the way that- they're, they're trying to help you out. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> Whatever. Now, those of us who are forced to opt in for the lifetime of our shops get a get a great little discount of 3%. So we're only paying 12% commission. Basically, what it's saying is you shops are our cash cows and we represent you now. So you're paying us commission yeah. on what we sell. That's well, basically what that's, it feels like. That's pretty much what it is. It's like uh, Etsy is now an online gallery distributor thing and it's like we got to make a percentage off of all of your sales. Not just the percentage that we're getting but the extra percentage of everything. Mm -hmm. We have some people in the UK that are like I already have to pay like this much taxes 
on what I sell. And on top of that, I got to pay this much. Like, where's my profit going? Yeah, a lot of people are asking where their profit is going. Of course, with the profit margins, Etsy was all like, well, just take a look at your pricing structure and adjust it accordingly. <laughs> Same thing they did with the free shipping. <laughs> yeah, just raise your prices. Everything's a million dollars. Yet again, just one million dollars. You yeah. want things from our shops, it's one million dollars. So how do I know if I'm required to participate in this or not? The short answer is, I don't know. Etsy said to check our shop stats to find out if we're um, forced to opt in, but I didn't see any helpful information there. I have been on both sides of that $10,000 mark in any given 12 month period, and the dashboard isn't saying if it's any 12 month period or specifically the last 12 months, because they said that they were taking a look at our stats as of February 18th, 2020. So do they mean the 12 months leading up to that or ever, if you've ever made $10,000 in a 12 month period? I don't know. So if this announcement was intended to be helpful and make us feel prepared, I do not feel helped or no. prepared. Unfortunately, is the way that this these kind of things play out. Yeah, I mean, I heard them say both. Basically, they said if you've ever made ten thousand U.S. dollars in a twelve-month period, and then I heard them say we're calculating your sales on February eighteenth, twenty twenty. That's so underhanded. So. <laughs> And I watched a video and I could see cringy micro expressions happening on faces when they oh, were like. Well, in the video, like I was <laughs> listening to the video and you could hear the parts where like she's just kind of responding. Yeah. Um, and then there's the parts that are super scripted. So obviously, needless to say, my biggest issue with this Etsy offsite ads campaign is the requirement to participate if you've made over a certain amount. Um, the Etsy free shipping campaign was thinly veiled coercion, but this is straight up forcing shops to do something that they may not be comfortable or happy with. What about shops that don't want to do any advertising? Or what about shops that don't want to advertise on specific platforms? Or what about shops that are already handling their own successful ad campaigns off of Etsy and don't want Etsy taking that part of their business over for them? Hmm. I never did the ads on Etsy because I always relied on my own marketing to do it. Yeah. And so like uh, just the idea that they were going to opt me in and I'm not even sure if they're going to opt me in uh, as a requirement. Right. And if they do, like... Not that I do anything on Etsy. I left a few things on Etsy just so that those people that are used to finding us there could go there. But at this point, I'm like, nah. What about the whole idea that running a small business through Etsy was supposed to be an empowering thing for budding creatives to feel a sense of control and freedom over their creative business? I feel like that's just slipping through our hands yep. <laughs> little by little as time goes on. Also, I'm just not sure how I feel about having zero control over what items are being promoted, where they're being promoted, how often they're being promoted. Like, I just, I, I don't want to have no control over that whatsoever. I feel like it's, that's my, that's my shop. That's my business. I get to choose how it is that I'm going to advertise my business and run my business and whether or not I'm going to do free shipping or anything like that. Why are you telling me how to run my business? What are you going to do, Rafi and Klee? Well, as of right now, with no off-site ads dashboard in place and no additional information besides what we've shared with you here, um, we don't know. My plan is to basically look at this and assess uh, determine whether I'm being forced to opt in and make a decision there. We already moved most of our business onto our own e-commerce website when the whole free shipping thing happened. So if it turns out that it's time to pack more than a weekender bag and say bon voyage, it won't really be a big deal for us. But I do know that it will be a big deal for those of you who have your eggs in the Etsy basket and aren't happy about this. Yeah, which so, is... Which is why, uh, which is why our advice was like, just be ready to, just be ready to exodus. Yeah. 
because uh, <laughs> that's where we're at now. So like, this isn't really a big deal because we could walk away from Etsy completely at any point in time. They are planning to roll out Etsy offsite ads in late March or early April, at which point you'll be able to see the dashboard and I guess know what's going on with it and make the determination for yourself at that point, know whether you're required to be in it, opt out if they give you the option to opt out, and so on and so forth. It's yet another move on Etsy's part that shows me that they're continuing to head in a direction that I just generally do not feel comfortable with, nope. and making something mandatory. And the thing is, if these new services and campaigns are so great, then why are you forcing people to do them? Yep. Like, if it's awesome, then people will just try it out and participate. It's, it's just weird and questionable to me that we're being forced to do things or coerced to do things. I also predict that there will be more uncomfortable changes happening in the future. I predict eventually they'll make free shipping a mandatory thing. I've seen them do that with other things they've rolled out that started off as optional or strongly recommended and then just became mandatory to do. Yeah, which I think is interesting because with the ads thing, they just went full on mandatory right from the beginning. <laughs> yeah, they're just not even messing around with it anymore. We're done suggesting things to you people, Etsy sellers. You're just going to do what we say. It's like this. <laughs> Obey! Now, needless to say, Etsy is getting a huge amount of backlash about this from all over the place, and they're trying to handle it with their scripted responses. And there was actually one thing that they said that was kind of refreshingly upfront and honest which was the following, and I wrote it down so I could quote it. As a marketplace, we're able to make updates to our features and services, period. When we make important changes, we update our terms and notify you in advance, which basically I read as we own the platform and we can do whatever we want with it. And if you don't like it, don't sell here. Yeah. And I mean, that, that's right. That's true. It they is do true. They own the platform. It is their platform. That's not how it started. And so it was toted as you are a small business owner. You are a creative business owner and we're here to back you. Mm -hmm. Now it's more along the lines of like, this is our selling platform. This is how it is. You better follow the rules or get out. This is big commerce, y'all. Yeah. So get off the train if you yeah, and I, I agree on both sides. It is their platform. They can do whatever they want with it. But if they're heading in a direction that is away from the core values that they started with, then, I mean, that's on them. And it's up to us to decide whether to move on or be along for the messy ride. Me personally, the core values were why I got involved in the first place. And so I don't want to stick around for big commerce machine of doom. Yeah. The backlash that we got when we did the free shipping uh, was from people saying like, just grow up or blah, blah, whatever it was that they were saying. And it's like, no, you don't understand. I'm not demonizing Etsy. Etsy can make whatever choices it is that they want. But I also don't have to just follow along on a leash and do whatever it is that they say. I have options and I am my own person and I wipe my own butt and everything. So yeah. if I am going to decide that I don't want to follow these rules, I don't have to. It's true and well said. We do wipe our own butts. <laughs> Ultimately, this is one of the pitfalls of selling on a platform which you don't control, which is why we ultimately decided to open our own e-commerce site when the shipping thing happened. There are numerous benefits to selling on a platform that gets high traffic such as Etsy, but they can come at a cost, which is lack of control. And you guys, uh, the choice to open up our e-commerce site best decision that we've ever made our business has not declined whatsoever from taking uh, that away from Etsy not at all we have no regrets no regrets <laughs> whatsoever <laughs> we want to know what you think of this new Etsy offsite ads campaign what you know about it what you plan to do we look forward to reading your discussion in the comments below and I know this is a heated topic and a lot of you are riled up please try to keep the discussion as friendly and productive as possible and know that we love you. Yeah, keep it keep it nice, you guys. Like, listen, I know some of you are heated or like, F Etsy, blah, blah, blah. And some of you are like, well, it doesn't really matter. Duh, duh, duh. And there's two sides to that. 
we could all have a conversation that's going to benefit all of us when it comes down to that. Like Etsy, we don't you don't have to vehemently defend Etsy or vehemently stand against Etsy because Etsy doesn't matter in this situation. What ultimately matters is what do you want to do and what is the way that you can find to become more empowered in this particular situation. Making moves that are best for your creative business and your morals and values. Exactly. Oh, I have to do the sign off, don't I? Yes, you do. Oh man. We love you guys so very much. Thank you for watching this video if you liked this video and you want to watch more like this or not really like this because we don't really do videos like this on the regular yes. then click right over here to subscribe yeah right there right there and that's it say goodbye Rafi adios good day Total awesomeness.